Alright, so this is the Hydro Dragons. I'm going to do a more in-depth video on the Blooms Monkey City and see the little theme talk on the tracks is playing. You know, I like it. But yeah, so what it is, is it's basically a, the original Blooms kind of, but the original Blooms Tower 5 upgraded to a more of a build your own city kind of way. And it's pretty cool. It's more of a depth, in-depth experience, so start off with some of the gameplay. Now, this is some of the harder gameplay, but it's actually, it's actually not that bad, but it's harder gameplay and it's one of the harder maps. And it's a volcano map, it's pretty cool. I, I thought you'd be able to put the Buccaneer in lava, but I guess that doesn't make sense because it's kind of, you know, just like a sink. How's a boat going to float in the lava? Well, how's the boat? They made me buy 10 dark monkeys, it was not my decision. Right, I'm just doing this for a quick demonstration of the gameplay, how semi weird it is to Star Defense 5 with just different tracks. It's actually about the same. It has been about the same spot. Actually, it's the exact same with just different tracks. This is a great banana farm and sniper monkey track. You can put your banana farm pod in and your sniper monkey in the air. Of course, I have not unlocked banana farm yet, so I wouldn't know. I'm ranked 16, and I don't know when they're going to give me the battle. They're agriculture. I see the building for it, I just can't buy it. But it's literally in the upgrades, the agriculture building is there. Go ninja monkey, if you fail me, I will buy the loot. Oh yeah, magic is definitely part of any of your 
Like that in English, press one. I'm assuming you pressed one. All right, now these are banana farms. They produce money for your humble city to grow and prosperity and all that bull crap. And look at here. This is this is the cool thing. These are balloon dump generators. They take it out of the ground, which is kind of realistic when you think about it. Rubber. How do you get rubber? I don't even know how you get rubber, and I'm just assuming. But anyways, put that back. But anyways, these are all the upgrades that I'm working on. One right now, but I have to build the world painter, so that's, that's gonna be some time. Now, all these other buildings are, yeah. And there's some windmill that I'm building one right now. I can finish it for 15 balloon stones, but those 
things are expensive. I pay 20 for a thousand. Yes, I like to do well in my game, so I will pay money to a developer to help them produce more. So if you want to judge me for helping make more of these games when you're just sitting on your ass doing nothing, then go ahead. I helped, I helped make this game from, for, from giving money to Ninja Kiwi. They would not make any more games if you didn't give money to them. How do you think games are made with money? God, the idiotic. But anyways, here are some banks. I can't afford to upgrade it. And what you can do with balloon stones. Let's just start with that. Let's see, you can fill up these. And it costs one to fill up. I'll go ahead and do that. And now look at this, I can do my monkey versus monkey thing. Monkey versus monkey. Alright, so here, you click on quick match, or you can attack your friends, which is kind of a douche thing to do your friends, but whatever. I usually do quick match because you attack some random idiot and usually win. Usually. I'll show you my battle history. Look at all my city honor. City honor is basically nothing, except for attacks won and loss. You gain more for winning than you do losing. Well, I mean, if you lose, you lose like 10 city honor. No matches. Alright, well I guess I will um, do that later then. But basically once there, it pops up the screen that allows you to select your difficulty and you can slide over little things about your highest balloon type. And in order to have a highest balloon type, you have to upgrade this. You know, I have ceramic balloons which are pretty difficult to deal with. It's a pretty cool little bank. That's an upgraded bank. You can't upgrade it again until level 20, but... It's an upgraded bank, and these are just normal little, little pansy banks. And here are hangers, um, water, which is very useful. You can build these things with it, which produce electricity, so you can build all these other towers. And plus, water has no other use except that. That makes it very useful because you don't have to use you you don't have to have windmills everywhere to pick up your land where you can build the good stuff. And I guess if you if you're a fan of the uh, Boat, buccaneer, buccaneer, monkey, buccaneer. Then you can see. I don't even use it. I, I play this game all, freaking all the time, and I don't even know what it's called because I don't even use it. It's buccaneer or something like that. I'm pretty sure buccaneer. Yeah. Let me check. I'm gonna my upgrade buildings. I have to upgrade one. You can either go down here to upgrades, click on that, or you, if you're not feeling like clicking on upgrades, just click on this like that, and then it'll pull up the exact same screen. Alright, so here is Buccaneer. That's the Buccaneer. I have a couple of grades in a while. That's pretty expensive, but Spike Factory. What you have to do is you have to buy the upgrades before you can use them on the field. I've upgraded that for mild defense. That's pretty much all that will be for. That. Just remember. Alright, and you know, different upgrades, they change appearance, because if you look at, let's see, just look at that, notice that, and then this, which looks like kind of, kind of silly and not very cool, look at the mod, oh, well, you can't see it, it's being upgraded, but let's go to the spike factory, so, see how it changes color, and gets a bunch of extra stuff, and just looks cool, compared to what it looks like there. It's like freaking dual spikes and everything, spitting out spikes. It's pretty cool. Yo, shut up. Have fun. Here's a little. Yeah. And these are special missions. Now, beware of special missions because they say they're easy, but they're actually difficult as hell. It says I can do that easily with what I have. Well, I don't have enough. I don't have enough room for And I'm not building anymore because I do have a lot. But special missions give you special items, which is right here. Like, see, I have. That. That's like a dark thing. Well, yeah, I'm looking through all these now. Yeah, but they give you special items, which give you special abilities. So, funny thing is, it says you get a special item, but it'll say you get a special ability. So I guess. It's I like a lot of special items considering there are only four around the map. Mm. 
And there is what I will assume is the new flip, which I cannot necessarily tell what it is, but it's pretty cool. It looks like a camo flip, so only your camo defenses will be able to target it, but I don't know, but that's the new that's the new bot. And all these, if it says unpopable, it's unpopable. So if you can play an unpopable mission, you can't win. Actually, if it says it's hard, it's not possible. Because there's no means in your freaking power that can make you win that. Ooh, chest. Oh, I'm hot. See? Look, no matter what I did, oh, it's very hard. Impossible. Impossible. Very hard. Hard. I think he gets special items from treasure chests too, so I would leave them to you know get a couple more. So it's very hard to not want it. But anyways, that is kind of the you know fullest review of Moon Tower Defense. I hope this you know did something. Balloon Tower or Monkey City. Loons Monkey City. It's a great game and I would suggest playing it. However, should you spend money on it? Well, if you like this game and you think you're going to continue, yes, at some point you will need to spend money. Because if you want to expand like places like this, it's going to be kind of hard and almost impossible. Yeah, yeah. But about $20 and you'll get 1,000 loot zones. Decent. So... Oh, my tanks are full, and I can't send the attack out. Let me send the attack on that. Okay, there we go. Here, here's the screen I was talking about. See, you slide it over, and it won't let me send the ceramic. I can do regrow assault, and that usually wins it, so that's usually what I do. Yes, I would like to use one. Of and then you come home, and you'll get 3,000. You don't get to watch the attack, or see what he did, or anything, but you get to send it out, and you get to, if he sends a return attack, you get to take that down. Yeah, and here's the building. Look at uh, all the upgrades and stuff. It's pretty cool. Um, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and build a ace laboratory. Or ace workshop, I don't know. I want one of those. Let's see what else I want. I'll take another sniper monkey. And oh, and a good tip for before you go into fights. Before you go into a fight, and you know you're probably going to be beat, beat, taken down, you know, punched in the face, and thrown to the side. It is very suggested that you spend all your money, so you, if you do lose, you will not lose nearly as much. You'll lose like a couple hundred, rather than three thousand, because they can only take what you have and whatnot. So, yeah. So that's a great thing to do, and I'm not going to tell you how to do a monkey. It's all on your own. Just say grouped up defenses work sometimes. Well, I haven't really noticed yet where it hasn't worked. Because the mob goes in and gets shredded. Maybe with the mob, if you think about it. I, I don't really know. Because, I mean, they're all going to do the same point of attack. Unless the group defense is crappy because you have them on, like, one corner of the track. And that's the only corner that they hit is that one corner for a brief second. thing. yeah, they're going to suck. But in general, a group of defense will work. If you find out that it doesn't work, then you can use a team building defense. And you can put two towers. Monkeys like to be in groups, I'm sorry, okay? Would you rather go fight a bunch of balloons by yourself or fight a balloon with a friend? Okay? Help out the goddamn monkeys and freaking put them in a group. God! I'm gonna send you out there next time with no defense. Nobody helping you out. You just sitting there fighting off balloons by yourself. How would you feel?